Hello and welcome to the New Growth Playbook, Business Model Transformation for the Digital Economy. My name is Simon Torrance. I'm a senior independent advisor specializing in business model transformation, and I'm the author of the New Growth Playbook. In this module, I'm going to introduce what we're going to cover in the course. Now, something dramatic happened in 2016. Up until that point, the most valuable companies in the world were the oil companies, the banks, and the industrial conglomerates. But in 2016, they were replaced by a new breed of company with a completely new type of business model called the platform-based business model. Now, collectively, they're worth over $2 trillion today. And they have inspired a whole new generation of businesses, entrepreneurs funded by venture capital who have now disrupted industries across multiple sectors around the world. These are known as the unicorns. They're worth over a billion dollars and startups that collectively are worth over 600 billion who are operating the platform-based business model. Now, what about traditional companies and incumbents? Well, they've been lagging behind in adopting this powerful business model. And here's an example from China. China Mobile, one of the most valuable telecoms companies in the world, one of the biggest companies in China, its market valuation has stayed flat for the last eight years. But you'll notice here another company called Tencent, which over that same period has dramatically overtaken it. Tencent is now one of the five biggest and most valuable companies in the world. It operates a platform-based business model, and it is rewarded with a market valuation 17 times its revenues. Whereas compared with China Mobile, a traditional incumbent business running a traditional business model, its market valuation is 1.8 times revenues. So something dramatic has happened. So there are new sources of growth and value. And I'm going to use this diagram throughout this course to try and bring this to life. Traditionally, most companies have created business models around what we might call physical assets. So manufacturers, uh, telcos, retailers, creating physical things and selling them. Then, of course, we can exploit financial capital and financial assets like banks and insurance companies and professional services firms will exploit human capital, human assets. Now, what's happened in the last 30, 40 years is that there is a new type of asset that has been exploited. Well, let's call it intellectual capital. And that's particularly biotech companies, software companies, and content producers. But the new type of business model that is becoming so powerful exploits a new type of asset in a new way. And this asset I'm calling relational capital. And the companies that have been most successful in exploiting it are the digital platforms. And what they've managed to do is create powerful ecosystems of innovation around them. They've incorporated this type of asset into a mix of other activities that they run. And this is driving their growth and value. So much so that you're seeing a new type of exponential growth from these types of companies, which is more exciting than the more traditional linear growth path of most companies today. So the New Growth Playbook is all about how traditional companies can add some exponential potential to their business. And what I'm gonna explore with you over the course of this um, program are these three questions. Firstly, how do these new business models work exactly? Secondly, how can you adopt and adapt them for your business in practice? And thirdly, where to start? Or maybe if you're already on this journey, how to improve what you're already doing, but realistically, given the constraints that you may be under, all businesses are under. And to help us with this journey, I'm going to invoke some divine intervention and introduce you to this fellow here. He is the, he's called Janus. He's the Roman god of transition. And the key thing I'd like to uh, explore with him and help you with are these two things here. How can we not only invent the future with a new business model, 
but also make sure we're optimizing and improving the present. And business model transformation is about both of those things working together. And that's what I'll try and explore with you during this course. Well, the course is all about you. And I've done this, I have put together this matrix to try and get a sense of where you might fit into to things here. So you might be working for a very big company or a medium or a small company. You might be working within a product group or a business unit, or you might be at the corporate center. And your organization or your group or your team might be very digitally sophisticated or maybe not so digitally sophisticated. So you probably fit somewhere on this diagram. So the, the course has been specially designed to suit whatever your situation and indeed whatever sector you're in, whether you work in banking, telecoms, retail, or indeed software. So this is a foundational course on business model transformation, and it's split into five modules. The first module looks at the new growth agenda. The second one, we, we talk in detail about how platforms and networks and ecosystems work in practice. And then in the third module, we, I've pulled together a set of case studies for you. I call them business model pioneers. These are traditional companies who've made the transition successfully. The fourth module, we look at how you can create a new business model portfolio. And the fifth module is probably the most important where I introduce the Renew framework, which is a five-step process for activating a business model transformation. Now, we offer to, as support around this program some additional downloads, which you can access from this website, and there's a discussion forum as well. And if you want to explore how to apply these ideas within your company in more detail, uh, we offer on-site training, workshops, and we also support your internal programs. And finally, I'd like to offer you to get in touch with me directly via my email. If you've got any ideas, questions, or thoughts, just drop me an email and I'll respond to try and support you on this exciting new journey.